I'm going to show you how to use Termageddon to create a cookie consent pop-up and a cookie policy. And I'm starting off in the privacy policy that I've already started creating for this demonstration. So you can see I'm in part three of the privacy policy setup. And the questions that you answered in part one and possibly in part two, depending on what you answered, are going to determine what you see here. So we can see that because I selected specific US states that require a privacy policy or require a cookie policy and a cookie consent pop-up or cookie consent tool, as they call it, then it's going to ask me to activate my user centrics cookie consent tool because I said I'm gonna collect cookies. Now, if I said I'm not going to collect cookies, so if I choose no here, then the laws aren't gonna to apply to my website and I don't need to collect consent and I don't need a cookie policy. So if you select no here, uh, because you're not collecting cookies and the laws don't otherwise require you to provide this, then you don't need to set up the cookie policy and the cookie consent pop-up. But most likely you are collecting cookies, you may not know it. So if you've got things like Google Analytics installed or you are, in some cases, you're using a shopping cart or anything like that, then you probably are collecting cookies. And again, depending on the answers that you had in part one, you might need to set this up. Now, if you don't know, you can just click I don't know, and it's gonna ask you to set up the cookie consent tool. So we're just gonna say yes, we're collecting cookies because I know I'm collecting cookies. I've got Google Analytics set up on the site, so I know I'm collecting them. So I am gonna say yes. And we can see here that they have a integration. It's a complimentary license with another tool called User Centrics. And this tool is going to automatically scan the website and identify any cookies that are being used. So if you've got Google Analytics or some other tool that's collecting cookies, it's gonna find that. And you can see you get up to 50,000 website sessions per month. If you exceed that, then you may need to get a paid user centrics plan. So if I click here, and, and this is a good problem to have, but we can see here, let me click okay. Then you may need to purchase a plan here. So if we look at their pricing, we can see it varies for the cost. So the 50 euros a month one, is up to 50,000 sessions. If you have more than that, then you may need to pay more for the, the pop-up. But let's go back to our setup. I am going to agree to everything here to their terms of service. You should probably read them. And then I'm going to activate the cookie policy and consent tool. And I'm gonna say no here. And I'm going to, I'm, again, I'm just finishing my setup for my privacy policy here and just my website or application contain links to third-party sites, yes. Okay, so now after I finish that, it's going to prompt me to generate my cookie policy and cookie consent solution or cookie consent pop-up, consent tool, whatever you wanna call it. Now, if you don't click on that, don't worry, you can still create the cookie policy. If you go back to all your policies, you'll see that it automatically created this. It automatically set this up. It's not gonna do that unless you turned on that option in the privacy policy. So I need to edit my policy details or I can view the policy, but I'm gonna click on edit policy details. And this is where you're gonna set up both the cookie consent tool or pop-up, which is gonna be the little pop-up that comes up on your website to ask people if they wanna give consent to collecting the cookies. And you can see here that you can change the color and you can put the hex code in here. So if you click down here a couple times, you can see that I can put my hex code. That's most likely what you're gonna have. So put your hex code in there. I'm gonna make it red for right now, like a dark orangish red. And then you get to decide the trigger. This part's not for the pop-up, but this is for the trigger. So if somebody wants to see the privacy settings, right now I've got a little fingerprint icon, or I can add a hyperlink. So if I just wanna add it to my footer or something like that, then I can do that. But if you want, you can turn on the fingerprint icon. It's up to you. I'm gonna turn the fingerprint icon on for now. Now the next thing is the banner itself, and it's gonna use the color here. It's not gonna use the color for the whole banner, but it is gonna use it for parts of the banner. And you can see that you can make it bottom left, you can make it a banner, or you can make it a wall. So the wall is gonna appear 
over the whole site or it's going to block basically the ability to use the site until they've consented to your cookies. So up to you again, which one you use here. And then you can also display the categories of cookies that you're going to collect. So there's a few categories that we'll look at in just a little bit. So I would just leave this at yes. And then you can decide what your second layer is going to look like. This is if they want to look at the current privacy settings and change them if they need to. So up to you which one you do. I'm just going to leave it at the default and then I'll click next. And then you can just go through here. The first layer, it's going to be the first pop-up that comes up and you can change the message. And then the second layer is where you can allow users to activate and deactivate different cookies. So you can change the texture if you want. I'm just going to click next. And then here, if you're in the European Union, that's where GDPR applies. So if you're collecting data from users that are in the EU, then you probably need to know a little bit more about this, but you can reshow the GDPR CMP. So you can just click yes for this after, make it show up after a certain number of months. I usually just leave this at the defaults and click next. Now we also need to specify which domain or subdomains you're using with the cookie policy. So you can see right now I'm doing this for highways and hops. If you've got additional domains, you can add them. And then you should input the URL to your website's privacy policy page. So for me, let me just double check. It's my highways and hops site. So if I visit the site, it should be in the footer. Yeah, there's my privacy policy. So I'll copy the URL for that. Go back in here and paste it. So I usually set up the cookie policy and the cookie consent pop-up after I've done the privacy policy and the terms of service. So I just paste that URL in there and then you can just, if there's any other settings you wanna change there, you can do that. I usually, again, for the labels, I leave these all at the defaults. Click next. And then this is really important. You need to scan the website. User Centrics is going to check to see which cookies you're actually using on your site. So I'm going to click on Run Scan and let's see what it gives me. And we can see here that it shows I'm using Google Tag Manager, Google Syndication, and Google Analytics. If you know of another tool or another service that's collecting cookies that doesn't come up, you can add it. So if you know for a fact that you're going to add YouTube videos to your website, for example, you can add that. So I would click on add new service. It's going to take a minute to load all the services, but you can select specific services. So if you know that you're going to be using them, you can add them now. I'm not going to go through this right now. I'm going to just close this. Now, another thing that we've got here is you can edit the sort of the information for each of these, the settings for each of them. So I'm going to go to the first one, which is the user centrics consent management platform. And we can see here, I've got several settings. So under general, this is what's important. So remember we talked a bit, a bit about categories earlier, but we can see here, there are essential functional and marketing. So if you have a cookie that is absolutely required for your website to work, then you might want to mark it as essential because in the cookie policy pop-up, if somebody doesn't accept all of your cookies, then the cookie that is listed as functional or marketing, it may not work. And, and I found this to be a problem with uh, payment processing. So if you, for example, are using, I think it was Stripe, one of my clients had a trouble with Stripe or, or PayPal, I can't remember which one, but the problem was they were using that and by default it was marked as functional. So if somebody didn't accept all of the cookies, they only accepted the essential ones, then the payment processing wasn't working. So we had to go through and make sure that that payment processor was marked as essential. So you can just go through and change these if you need to. You probably won't need to for the most part, but if you do, know that it's there. So that's usually, for, in my experience, that's the one thing that you might have to change. So once you're done with that, you'll click on Submit. And then it's going to, after this is done, it should give you the policy stuff that you need. So first you're gonna copy the cookie policy embed. So this is gonna work like your privacy policy and your terms of service. If you're using Termageddon for those, I'm just gonna click on copy for that. And I'll go into my website, go, I'm using WordPress. Go into the dashboard and I'll go into my pages. And I think I've already got a cookie policy set up, so I do. 
And again, this is only if you're using WordPress, if you're using some other website builder, the instructions might be a little bit different. But I copied HTML from the Termageddon site. So I'm gonna say I wanna embed HTML. Let's custom HTML. And I'm just gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna click on update. And now if I view my website, if I view this page, so I'll click on view page and we'll see my cookie policy. So it takes a second to load. We can see here, it's gonna show me what is getting collected. And we can see here essential cookies, functional cookies, and marketing cookies. So now if we go back to Termageddon, we'll see here that it's gonna give instructions for the cookie consent tool or pop-up embedding instructions. And so there's some code here that you need to copy. Now, if you're using WordPress, there's actually a plugin that you can install to implement this. So I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna go back into WordPress and go into my dashboard. I'll go to plugins, add new plugin. And I'm gonna search for Termageddon. And there's the Termageddon user centrics plugin. So you can install that. And then you need to activate it. So we activate. And then we're going to go to, I think it's under tools. Yeah, there's, it's under tools and then termageddon plus user centrics. And you're going to paste your embed code there and then click on save changes. So you can see that's pretty easy. There are some settings that you can tweak if you want to. So you can hide the widget, for example, for administrators, editors, login users. I, I would, if anything, I would turn this on for administrators and editors. You don't necessarily, I wouldn't turn it on for logged in users. All right, so if we go back to the website, so if I visit the site and I'm already logged in, uh, but I didn't turn it off for admins. So the first time I go to the site because I haven't accepted the cookies yet, you can see this is the pop-up. So if you remember in Termageddon, this was the option that I set up for it. And you can see there's my reddish orange or orangish red. And again, remember essentials is turned on by default. So anything that's under functional and marketing is going to need to be manually turned on. You need to consent to those to turn them on unless you click on accept all. So I'll click on accept all. And then if I want to change my settings, there's that little thumbprint. So I'll click on that and you can see that they were accepted. So if I click on accept all again, even though I turned them off, if I turn them off and click on save settings, you can see they're still turned off. So accept all is going to accept all of them. Because it's highlighted in a button, it's it's a highlighted button, there's a good chance that's what people are going to select. If they click on deny, just be aware if the cookie isn't consented to, then it's not going to be set, which means that some parts of your website might not work. Just be aware of that. So if somebody sends you a message, they, they go through your support and they say, hey, this isn't working and it's because a cookie isn't getting set, then you may need to tell them to go back and change their privacy settings to accept that cookie. If you are using another website builder like Wix or Squarespace, just remember you need to copy that code from Termageddon for the head, and you'll need to follow the instructions in their documentation to add that to your website. And make sure you add these policies and the pop-up if your website needs it. There's a really good chance that your website does need it. If you don't add this, you could be facing fines and they can be really significant fines. So make sure if you are collecting information from users in those specific countries and states that you are adding this to your website. All right, thanks for watching.